Music, adventure, whales, and dolphins. This is Go. Go is on location today in Powell River, and we are going to hear from veteran guitarist Sam Hurry. We are going to head to Vancouver Island University to learn about kayaking. We are going to hear all about whales and dolphins, but up first, a very special blessing. Go is on location today in Powell River, currently right in front of Vancouver Island University campus. Joining me, Mark McNeil from Elder College. Tell us about this Learn to Kayak program. Well, Elder College is, is a program where elders uh, instruct other elders. Awesome. And you volunteer your time. Cool. And um, one of the things I do, because I'm a kayaker around here, because it's just absolutely wonderful to kayak in Paul River. It is. Is to uh, do a course for women, and particularly geared to them, because uh, it's they need to have information before they decide what they're going to do. Are right. they going to buy a kayak, rent one? Are they really interested in outlaying all that money? Right. And what I try to do is lead them through... Um, all the choices. All the choices that are out there, because there's right. a million choices now in kayaks. Right. And most of them are built for men. Ah. Uh, and they don't accommodate, like the cockpit, is a little small for women. Yes. Because, and so, they need to know these kinds of things. And right. then I also, um, I'm able to give them some ideas about the places to go around Powell River where right. you can actually put a kayak in. Okay, awesome. Now, this particular class is taught in a classroom because you're giving information. Yes. It's not actually out in the water. But once they take your class and they have that information, then they can choose what to do and then go out and start their adventure. Yes. All right, uh, cool. They need to take some lessons, and I stress that. And one of the things I stress very firmly is safety, safety first. Safety, yes, of course. And women seem to be very interested in that. Yes. And I know the question that comes up time and time again is, what if I fall out of my kayak? And I do everything I can to assure them that nobody falls out of a kayak <laughs> very often. All and right. I have never fallen out of mine. Oh, there you go. <laughs> All right, well, Mark, thank you so much. If you'd like more information, check out the website, pr.viu.ca forward slash elder college and all the information is there and the class is coming up on April 21st and 22nd. So check that out. Right now, we're gonna head over to Campbell River with Marjorie Greaves. I'm Mary Ruth Harris. You're watching Go on Shaw TV's Channel 4. We are going to take a short break, but when we come back, we will be at the Beach Gardens Resort and Marina. <laughs> Welcome back. You're watching Go on Shaw TV's Channel 4. I'm Mary Ruth Harris. We are in Powell River. We started at Vancouver Island University, where we learned about an elder college course on beginning kayaking. Check it out. Now, we are at Beach Garden Resort. Joining me is Susan McKay of Whale and Dolphin, <laughs> what's it called? It's Whales and Dolphins BC. See, she says it way better than I do. And also Wild Ocean Whale Society All right. is, is our governing body. Okay, so you're having a fundraiser on April 22nd here at Beach Gardens. What are you fundraising for? We are fundraising for, uh, for the installation of our live streaming web camera and awesome. hydrophone system. Oh, so you can listen to what they're doing. The hydrophone is listening in. Awesome. It's totally non-invasive. We monitor um, these a absolutely amazing animals. Um, we record all their, their movements. We map them and it's all available online. That is fantastic. And also, if you actually are watching the oceans and you see whales or dolphins of any kind, they want you to send them a tip so that they can map where these animals are being seen. So I think that is fantastic because that's really important to pay attention to what's going on because it gives us an, uh, an eye into the health of the oceans too, right? That is correct. Right. Okay. We also monitor all of their movements and, okay. and get them all mapped. Well, that's fabulous. So check out the uh, website. Wh what's the website? <laughs> the main one. 
Well, uh, wildoceanwhale.org. Wildoceanwhale.org. Check it out for more information. Get your tickets here at the Savory or at Hindle's or call any of the board members. And thanks so much for that. I appreciate your time very much. And now we're going to head to Comox Valley for this week's Sweet Spot. Edible Island is also a fabulous resource for all those who are gluten-free. So when we come back, we will be at the Evergreen Center where we are going to speak with veteran guitarist Sam Hurry. But up first, we're going to have a look at this Did You Know? Did you know this? Go is on location today in Powell River. I'm Mary Ruth Harris. We are now at the Evergreen Theatre, which is located inside the Powell River Recreation Complex. And coming up, an interview with Sam Hurry about an upcoming musical concert. It's going to be fantastic. It's called The Mighty, no, A Mighty String Thing. And it's going to be absolutely mind-blowing. Wait till you see the lineup. Now recently, Navigate, which is North Island Distance Education School, held a morning of exploration into technology, specifically for girls. In fact, they called it Girls Do Coding. Have a look. The most interesting part about that was the 3D printing. It was absolutely fascinating. I'm Mary Ruth Harris, you're watching Go. We are now outside of the Powell River Recreation Complex and joining me for a little musical interlude, Sam Hurry. <laughs> Forty days, forty nights Since my baby left me crying For forty days, forty nights Since my baby left me crying Love will make a poor man rich Or break his heart, I don't know which Forty days Forty nights, forty days, forty nights, forty days, forty nights, forty days, forty nights. Woo! <laughs> that is awesome. Oh Thank my you. god. So the reason Sam is here today is because there is a great concert coming up, a mighty string thing, mm -hmm. where Sam is going to be joined by four very talented artists. Yes. Whose idea was it to bring all the strings together? Actually, it was Doug's. He, was it? He gets these brainstorms. <laughs> <laughs> we both know Doug very well. Yes. He gets these brainstorms. He thought that it would be an interesting idea, so he got hold of, of Kevin Bright and um, uh, Mark Stewart and Cecile Dukinge and uh, Bill Kirchen along with myself and everybody was free so we're fabulous we're thrown it together and we're well not threw it together but <laughs> <laughs> cleverly crafted it and uh, and we're we're taking it on the road it's going to be great fun all right yeah. well Sam thank you so much and I really can highly recommend coming to hear them in person because there is nothing like a mighty string thing Sam thank you so much absolutely thank brilliant you. and right now we're going to head over to the Comox Valley for a feature on Loris Dawn who specializes in working with glass Thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you to Mark McNeil and the Elder College at Vancouver Island University. Learning how to kayak sounds like an absolutely amazing adventure. And good luck to the Whales and Dolphins organization and their fundraiser. You can get your tickets at the Savory Bite Restaurant or Hindle's Gifts, or check out their website for more information and be in touch with any of the board members. And of course, thank you so much to Sam Hurry, for sharing his musical gifts with us. 
please, if you have any interest in music or blues, there is going to be a concert in Courtney on April 21st and here in Powell River on April 22nd. A mighty string thing is not to be missed. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week.